In this session, we will talk about sorting results using order by clause. This is Hassan Mir from Zero2ProTraining.com. I am connected to SAP HANA Studio. Let me start an SQL editor. Right click on tables and choose SQL editor. So now I can write a new SQL here. So let's query all the data that is there in the student table. So I can write a simple SQL, select star meaning all columns from student. If I run this query by clicking on this green icon here, execute, I see the data sitting in a student table. Keep in mind that in a relational database, the order in which records are inserted has no significance as such. So if I have to insert three more students in the table student, then it doesn't really matter which one I insert first. And also, it doesn't really matter whether I'm inserting the record at the end or in between. In fact, I only insert a record in into the table. I don't tell the system that put this record between record 2 and 3. So the order in which records are inserted and the position in which this record will be inserted has no significance in relational database and this is one of the properties of the relational databases. However, at the time of retrieval, you have the choice of viewing results in a particular order. So the bottom line is that at the time of inserting into the table, the order is not important. At the time of retrieval, order could be important. And that is what we are going to see how we can view results in a particular order. Let's say the requirement is that I want to view the listings of students by the first name and listing meaning all the attributes of the students including ID, first name, last name, date, joint and team ID. So I can go back to the SQL tab here and I can tell the system that I want to view by first name and how do I do that? I use order by clause for that. This is an optional clause in a select statement order by F name. And if I run this SQL you can see the data has been sorted by the first name. Now I want to sort the results by the team ID. So I can go back to the SQL tab and change the column name to team ID and rerun the query. Now you can see the results are sorted by the team ID. Now take a look at the first record. The team ID is null. So keep in mind that null values will appear at the top in ascending sorting and if you are doing descending sort then null will appear at the end. I will talk about descending sort in a bit. Now take a look at the rows where team ID is 1. There are three rows where team ID is 1. So I want the system to sort the data by last name wherever the team IDs are the same. So I can go back to the SQL tab and here I can say order by team ID comma last name, L name. What does that mean? This means whenever we have a situation where team IDs are common are the same, then within that portion the sorting will be done by the last name. So overall sorting by will be done by the team ID and wherever the team IDs are same, then the sorting will be done by the last name. So if I run this, so you can see overall sorting is done in ascending order of the team ID, null appearing first, then team ID 1, then team ID 2. Wherever the team ID is 1, we have rows sorted by the last name in ascending order. So Gates come first, then Jobs, and then Syed. All these three belong to team ID 1. So technically you can add as many columns here as required. For example, you can say order by team ID, comma, last name, comma, first name, meaning whatever team IDs are the same, do the sorting by last name, and if last names are the same as well, then do the sorting by first name and uh, so on. Rarely you will be required or you will be in a position where you will put more than three columns in order by clause but there could be situations. So let me run this and go back to the results. Now let's say the requirement is that I want to view a student listings but this time I want to have the result sorted 
in descending order of team ID. So highest team ID will go at the top and lowest will go at the bottom. Let's go back to the SQL tab and to do that I will add the keyword DESC for descending. For now let me remove all the other columns from the order by clause. If I run this SQL you can see the result has been now sorted in descending order of the team ID and take a look at the null value it is appearing at the end because it's a descending order now what if I want that wherever the team IDs are the same for example one I want system to do the sorting by the last name so I know the trick I can go back to the SQL tab and I can add last name column in the order by clause and I will add that after this descending keyword. Descending keyword is applicable to this team ID column. So here I'm gonna say comma last name. So do the sorting first in the descending order of team ID and wherever the team IDs are the same do the sorting by the last name. Let me run this query. I want to bring your attention to an important point here. When I say team ID descending comma last name what happened was the sorting was done in descending order of team ID and wherever the team IDs are same sorting is done in ascending order of the last name not in descending order you can see Gates is coming first and then Jobs and then Syed okay and this is ascending order overall sorting is done in descending order of team ID then wherever the team IDs are same ascending order of last name is has been used why because I did not enter here the descending keyword so it all depends on my need if I want overall sorting to be done by descending order of team ID and then whenever the team IDs are same I want sorting to be done in ascending order of, of last name then I do not have to add the keyword descending but if I want descending order of last name then I will add the keyword DESC to achieve that so if I run that statement now you can see within the same team IDs Syed is coming at the top and Gates is appearing at the bottom so what we have learned is that this descending keyword is not applicable to the whole order by clause it is applicable to each column so each column could be ascending or descending if you remove the descending keyword then ascending keyword is assumed you don't have to add this a SC keyword it will be same as you write the same select statement without ascending keyword so now the sorting is done in ascending order of team ID and then ascending order of the last name for example if I want overall sorting in ascending order of team ID and wherever the team IDs are same I want descending order of last name so this could be one of the requirements as well and that would be handled this way so you have full control over the ascending and descending ordering of the columns there is another way of sorting the results and that is by not using the column names so let's say I want to do the sorting by the team IDs I can do it by the position of the column position of the column is we're gonna start with the first column ID first name last name date joined and team ID so this is column number five so if I copy this SQL from top to bottom and I can say I want to order the results by column number 5 and wherever we have same values in column number 5 just do the ordering in descending order of column number 3 so both of these statements will bring the same results if I run the second one you will see the same results method one is more appropriate less chances of errors although there is more typing for example instead of using star let's say if I'm using the full column list like this okay and if I run this 
this is exactly the same statement it will not make any difference same result and if I remove one or two column from the column list I don't have to modify the order by clause it will work exactly the same it is ordering results by the team ID and then by the last name in descending order but in the second statement if I use the column list instead of star if I use the actual column values if I run this statement you can see the same result but if I remove one or two columns then the order by numbers the column positions here are no more valid so keep in mind this is not the position of the column in the table structure this is the position of the column in the column list that you're selecting okay so right now I'm selecting only four columns first name last name date joint and team ID there is no column 5 in the column list so if I run this SQL I should get an error message you can see in the red color so the problem with the position syntax of the order by clause is that whenever you modify the column list you have to adjust these uh, numbers okay so 5 comma 2 is now going to be 4 comma 2 actually it was supposed to be uh, 5 comma 3 and now it will be 4 comma 2 because column 4 is my team ID now 1 2 3 4 and last name is column number 2 so if I run this I will get the same result as the SQL that you see above that okay so now you have seen both the methods of using order by clause you can refer to the columns by the names or by their positions in the column list not in the table so just a recap select statement has mandatory clauses of select which list all the columns column list and then from clause so minimum select statement will have a select clause and the from clause from will have the table name and then optional clauses are where clause that will have condition and order by clause that will have the sorting logic so this is what we have seen so far we will still uh, be looking into more clauses like group by and having so all these clauses have to be the same order so select and uh, from are mandatory clauses but if you are putting a where clause in the select statement where has to come after the from clause and if you're putting the order by clause it has to come at the end after the where clause